You know, I'm thrilled that Neil Drysdale bought the horse. If anybody knows, excuse me, AP Indian, what they should look like, it's him. He fell in love with the horse. He said he's he's the most. He resembles AP Indy more than any yearling he's seen. He fell in love with the horse. He said same head, same neck, same way of moving. So that, that was a great endorsement. So, you know, anytime you sell a horse for a million dollars in this market, it's a lot of money. But, you know, he's he's one of the very few horses in the catalog that if, if he is successful, can be worth any amount of money. So to prove it, Nick, it's a great family. And, uh, you know, you, you need to sell these kind of horses really well to to stay in business. The mare costs a lot of money. It was a big commitment from my side as far as being the breeder, and uh, it was a, a, a great and just reward. So we're we're very happy, and mo most important, he went into great hands. So we're, you know, that's that's the key. Thanks a lot. Thank you, John. Were you worried when you saw the RNAs early on started? Not really, because I think any time in a horse sale, each horse represents their own opportunity, and in our group, we've had horses that were you know, six and seven deep, and we were quite certain we're gonna sell well, and the others are a little light. This horse had eight scopes, all really serious, important people, so we knew he was gonna sell well. You never know, you know, where they're gonna finish, and it wouldn't have surprised me if he took off and, and, and kept going. So we're we're happy with the price. It was in the range of value, and uh, that was a, a great result. As a consigner too, is it encouraging to see, I know it's early, that the, the top end buyers, that, that there's been a, a variety of buyers so far in the top end tonight, that it's not just dominated by one person? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's great anytime you can disperse the people that are, or, or have the people that buy them be varied and, and of different interests. If one person buys all the horses, <clears throat> excuse me, it's discouraging to underbidders, it's discouraging to other contingents. So when it spreads around like that, I think it's really good and healthy for the business.